Protect your pack, show no fear. Hunt your enemies, explore the unknown, adapt to the environment. Teach the young, lead your companions, survive each day. Demonstrate no weakness, never back down, leave your mark. YouTube and Lobo Hockey Network, how's it going? We are here at the Outpost Arena in Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's it's your University of New Mexico Lobos going up against the Colorado School of Mine Ore Diggers. I am Joshua Creo here in the booth with my broadcast partner, Adam Nish. Adam, you ready for game two? I've been ready since the end of overtime last <laughs> night, ending in a 3 3 tie. Uh, Coach Grant Harvey said right after the game ended, he went into the locker room and he's so used to pulling out those close ones in the end, he really didn't know what to say. Yeah. It was it was uh, uncharted territory for the Lobos, but you better believe they are ready and fired up for tonight's matchup. Yeah, they came in here looking hot. Hey, also in the broadcast booth, we'll have our inter interview uh, partner here, Andrew Tadin, in the booth as well. He'll get you guys some player interviews and coach interview as well. But we are ready for some hockey. Last night, the leading scorer for New Mexico was Nate Tangligami as he scored two early goals out of. And then also Graham Chison with the, uh, the extra goal there. But it wasn't enough. It was just a tie. But the Lobos look to avenge that tonight. And they definitely are hungry for a win. Yeah, we are eight minutes from puck drop. And uh, honestly, I, I was taking a look at it, and it's hard to say who you think the key to the game is going to be. Nate Tagliagami was consistent as ever last night. But who I really want to see a big game out of tonight is Jared uh, Ronkiel. He was phenomenal last night. He got bruised and beat, and he took a puck to the ribs. He got slammed against the boards, but he was so close to some breakaway goals, and he has excellent stick work. Watch for him for, uh, to have a breakout game here tonight. Adam, I'm going to give you two players, okay? The one that I think is going to be great tonight, I'm going with Nate Tagligami. You've got to go with the captain. He always has that fire under his eyes. But the one guy I want to see light up that scoreboard tonight is Chance Shanks, number 95. I think Chance is that aggressive player, and he has a great opportunity. And then also, uh, he just has that fire in him that he needs to step up. He wants to be a leader of this team. Well, tonight's the night to make that happen. Well, I'm talking about enforcing players. How about Garrett Inman last night? Came out like a brick wall, lay in the wood, definitely played the role of enforcer last night. Uh, I mean, he found himself in the boxers, I believe, once or twice. But, I mean, that's what the Lobos need. They play that, that gritty type of hockey. Uh, and, I think we were both discussing it a bit last night, uh, uh, the cobwebs being pulled off. Uh, there was uh, some cardio issues on both sides of the yeah. ice last night. Uh, you, you better believe that's not going to be around tonight. Six minutes from puck drop, and uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm excited, Josh. What are you thinking? And in our pre-production meeting with Grant, I talked to him about, you know, who, what his key matchup is going to be, and he said goaltending. You know, uh, Jake Palmer for the Colorado School of the Mines, but he's going up against James Boston tonight. And Boston did not let anything cheap in last night. Anything that was scored on Boston was a sneak in or just an amazing shot. Uh, that, so, that last goal snuck in. Uh, that one was an absolute heartbreaker. I, I could have sworn the Lobos were going to walk away with that 3-2 to two victory. Um, that last one just somehow snuck by his right leg. Uh, it wasn't even that, that great of a shot. Just one of those fluke plays. He really did play a, a great game. The score really isn't indicative of how great of a game James Boshian had. Uh, just a great goalie all around. A great predecessor to Dakota Orth. Uh, really filling out that goal nicely. And then also one to watch out for. Keep an eye on him for him. He's a fan favorite. And that's going to be Mackenzie Smith. Mackenzie got a penalty late in the game last night that kind of hurt the Lobos in overtime. But he's the definitely one guy that's a crowd favorite. He gets this crowd going. Everybody loves Mackenzie. But you guys are in for a treat tonight. It is game two of the Lobos and the Ordeagers. We want to thank you for tuning in. Hey, we got some news we want to share with you. But first, 
you need to hit that little subscribe button on your page there and uh, make sure you follow us along all season long. Make sure that you head to Facebook as well, www.facebook.com forward slash the Lobo Hockey Network and make sure that you give it a like. That way you guys could keep up uh, what's going on around the Lobo Hockey uh, uh, net, uh, the network, pretty much. And then also tonight, we had Jennifer Nish here. She's our merch manager. Also, Sean Omer's here. They're getting ideas on new merchandise. And Beanie's are going to be the top seller, yeah, it looks her like. Her and uh, Aaron Espinosa out there getting uh, your, getting, uh, your take out the door. We actually had a landslide winner. I know everybody wants jerseys, t-shirts, the works. Um, we, uh, we got a landslide winner in Beanie's. You guys want to see some Beanie's? Keep your ears warm out here at Outpost. Uh, so that might be something to keep your eyes peeled for. We even got things like pop sockets, things along those lines. Uh, the sky's the limit. We've got hey, great partnerships. Hey, we got more. On the, the 28th to 29th, Darko Print Shop is going to be here at the Outpost printing live t-shirts. Okay, and then we're going to have some other merch, especially pucks, Adam. Pucks are going to be here. Autograph pucks are going to be here. We're going to be selling pucks for 20 bucks. They're the official game pucks. We're also going to be selling a two-pack for $40 and a three pack with last year's puck for $60. But autograph might be a little bit more, you know, because the players, but all the proceeds will go straight to the Lobo Hockey team. So get out here, because you guys are gonna get t-shirts, other merchandise, and pucks. So make sure that you guys come out here and support New Mexico, because hey, it's $6 to get in the door, $3 if you're a UNM student. Three's the number, and we are three minutes, 57 seconds away from puck drop here at Outpost Arena. It looks like it's gonna be a full house. It was about standing room only last night, and it's gonna be even more full. That student hey. section got loud and hey, proud, guys. and we're looking for more of that tonight. Um, I mean, let's talk about the refereeing for a minute, Josh. Uh, I mean, it, was, it was rough last night, let's, let's be honest. It was a bit you of know a that, one-sided You know that song, Three Blind Mice? Well, I'm upgrading it to Four Blind Mice, because they were horrible. It seemed so one-sided last night. But you know what? I, I, you know how we're, hockey works. One night, one team gets it. I want to be surprised if we see a lot more of Colorado School of the Mines in the box. Tonight. We better. That's all yeah. I know. For the sake of Grant Harvey's scarf. Also, the way the game ended last night, these two teams were chirping at each other. So expect some big hits and some physical play from both sides. I can't wait to see what this game has in store. So, for us. and we do owe you a bit of clarification from last night. Uh, at first, we thought there was going to be a penalty shootout. Um, with the current rules, uh, it sounds like unless both coaches agree to a shootout, then it goes to a tie. And typically, they're not going to agree to that because a loss counts against uh, their chances at nationals. Yep. So that's why we ended in a tie last night. I'm sorry for the confusion. Uh, don't expect the same. Uh, you don't see these levels tying often. In fact, last time they played the Colorado School of Mines, um, a very close game in the first one, but it was a blowout Lobo win in that second game. Yep. We're we were there. We were same. there in Denver when it happened. So, hey guys, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to take it live to the public service announcer, and then he'll have the starting lineup. So make sure you guys got your hot coffee or your, and hot chocolate, pizza, whatever you got ready, because we're going live here in just a little bit as the puck drop will be just moments away. You're watching Lobo Hockey right here on the Lobo Hockey Network. Hockey TV. Tonight we have the second night in the series between the visitors from the Colorado School of Mines and your New Mexico Lobos. <laughs> and now for the starting lineups for the Ore Diggers in goal from Falcon, Colorado, Jake Palmer. Defenseman number seven from Boulder, Colorado, Stephen Hahn. His partner, number 25, from Indianapolis, Indiana, Brian Schnelzer. <laughs> At center, number nine, from Aurora, Colorado, Jason Contra. On the wing, number 20, from Monument, Colorado, Pam Fraser. And at the other wing, number 26, Owen Jordan. The order is, of course, by Parker Fawcett. And now for your, the story writer for your New Mexico Lobo. Between the pipes and goal from Miami, Florida, Jane Bastien. On the blue line, the defenseman number 19 from Long Beach, California. Give it up for Garrett Inman. His 
defenseman partner, number 27, from Albuquerque, New Mexico, the Kid is there. On the right wing, four, number 22, from Corrales, New Mexico, Grant Giasson. On the left wing, four, number 17, from Woodbury, Minnesota, Jared Ronquillo. And at four, number eight, from Rio Rancho, New Mexico, Nate Tagiagami. And the rest of the Lobos. The Lobos are coached by Grant Harvey. Your officials tonight, Weinsman, Jerry and Bresmer, and Edgar Solis referees, Kelly Coyler and Chuck Kern. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise, remove your caps for the national anthem. Buckle those, buckle those seat belts because it's going to be a wild ride here tonight at the Outpost Arena between your University of New Mexico Lobos and the Colorado School of the Mine Ore Diggers. Adam, I think it's time for a YouTube challenge. We have some ore diggers visiting us from Colorado on this channel. We want to see who's the loudest crowd out there. Is it the Lobos or is it the ore diggers? Let's see those comments, fans, and by the second period we'll announce the winner. Adam. How crazy are the Lobo fans, though? So. Uh, we're excited. Out in student sections already getting loud and proud out there. It's nice to see that it's just a, it's growing as a whole. We see you out there, Lobo fans. We see you. Uh, we're getting the comments flying in now. We love it. 20 minutes on the clock. Puck drop at center ice. Your New Mexico Lobos getting ready to take on the Colorado School of Mines Ore Diggers here at Outpost Arena in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We can't wait. We want to thank you guys for tuning in. Also, those from Colorado, thank you for tuning in and being part of the Lobo Hockey Network. We just, all, all we want to see is a good, clean Lobo victory. That's all we want to see. That's all we want to see. Last night ended in a 3-3 tie, but both teams do not want that to happen again. So we're going to make sure that the, what, this game ends. Sorry to be one-sided, but in the Lobo favor. Hey, we love it. Uh, it's interesting seeing some different players out there. You do have Graham Chais on the out there. Uh, you have Caliber out starting. Of course, Nate Tagliagami. Can't forget him. Mackenzie Smith out at center ice. And big Garrett Inman as well. No, Inman's not in there, sorry. Oh, uh, no, that's a, that's <laughs> size a, him. I see the size and I just assume it's Inman. Inman's a big dude. All right, Nate Tagligami will be taking the face off. Lobo's going to our left, your right, and the Colorado School of the Mines going to our right, your left. So make sure uh, you follow along here and uh, we're gonna have puck drop, Ralph. Here we go, puck drop underway, one by New Mexico. And the Ordigger's still in the way and they'll dump it inside the Lobo zone. Ordigers take away the puck now. They try to clear on top of the blue line, but it was an offsides call, so we'll have a faceoff just outside the Lobo zone. You know, and Tagliagami reminds me a lot of a Julian Chavez back in the day. He's so good at those faceoffs, quick, gets it in the right spots. They Tagliagami will take the faceoff for New Mexico. And New Mexico comes away with it. They're moving across the uh, center ice into Ordigger territory into the left wing. Ordigger's there to recover it, going to try to clear. New Mexico able to come up with it. Number 27 for the Lobos up top. Fighting away at the puck. Nordigger hits the ground. He's gonna have a shooting opportunity here. Tries to sneak it by and it goes wide right. Mackenzie Smith with a good opportunity there. 
A lot of slip in the slide and sends it up top, but the Lord Diggers come away with it. Lobo steal the way into the left wing. Back up top. Going to pop it behind the net. Circle around. Mackenzie Smith there to fight away. Almost a shooting opportunity, but Colorado steals it away. Stays in or Digger territory. Though the shot. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! It looked like you went five hole. The Lobos put one up on the board. And that's what we're talking about. That those. Uh, what were we saying last night? Get those shots on those recovery shots, those secondary shots. That's what finds them back in the net. It looked like it was Mackenzie Smith with the goal. So one nothing with 1906 left to go. It's one nothing Lobos. Oh no, number eight is Nate, Nate Tagliagami. Tagli Same way we started out last night. Nate Tagliagami had that breakaway last night. Another slap, uh, slap shot goal tonight. It went right underneath the goalie's legs, found its way in the back of the net. And with 19.06, we're all Lobos rolling at one nothing. Face off one by New Mexico. They try to dump that puck and here comes the opportunity once again. Oh, great defense by the Ordiggers. And here comes Colorado School of the Mines. They'll have the puck inside Lobo zone. Big hit by Jared Ronquillo. Up against the boards. Shot taken by the Mines and it's off James Bosch's pad. Big hit by the Ore Diggers. Ben Hall playing the wood there. Here comes Isaac Dunwoody. He'll try and clear the puck out of the Lobo zone. Doing a good job. Lobo's Dunwoody come up with still it. with it. That offense is looking sharp. A little bit of poor puck play, but he's still fighting for it. Looks like Dunwoody in the corner. Fighting for the puck, sending around the back of Colorado's net. Colorado recovers and going to bring it out to center ice. Here come the ore diggers. They'll have the puck now. They'll take it into the Lobo zone. Looking to set something up. Bad pass. And the puck is hit on top of the roof and it gets sent out of place. So How we'll physical is this matchup already, Josh? We're seeing people thrown. We're seeing people put up against the boards. Uh, yeah, we said last night you're not going to want to miss it. These Lobo games have a tendency to get, uh, get real physical real quick. 18-11 left to go in the first period. 1-0 Lobos. Face off, one by New Mexico. They look to take it away, but the ore diggers are waiting for it at center ice and they'll dump it inside the Lobo zone. Lobos still with the puck, looking to clear it out. They do a good job and the puck, Jack Kelly's gonna try and beat the icing call. Jack Kelly, are they gonna get him? Oh, he got it. Fighting for it in the right wing. Jack Kelly still fighting for the puck. Back behind the net. Left wing, Colorado's gonna pick this up and try to clear. They do get it out past center ice. And here comes Christopher Owens, a newcomer to New Mexico. He'll send it over to Mackenzie Smith. Smith, now with the puck, looking to set something up. Big hit up against the boards, but AJ Goff now with the puck. Goff moving pass into Colorado territory. Looking for the shooting opportunity, takes a shot. Pass off of the pad. Good save by Palmer. And Lobos put him up against the boards again, playing that physical hockey. Here comes Hop. He'll send it over to Mackenzie Smith. Smith now has the puck. He'll send it over to Tagliagami. Tagliagami gets it over to Hop. And, oh, if he was a little quicker, he would have had a breakaway on the goal. Back behind the net, though, retains possession. That's actually Michael Caliber. Caliber Loses a stick. stick. Oh, man. That's Big Grand Chisholm. Chisholm couldn't handle it. Colorado with the puck. And here comes the Mines. Good hit by Graham Trison. Another big hit up against the boards. Hop will try to play the puck behind his net. He'll send it over to Nate Tagliagami. Unfortunately, Tagliagami couldn't split the defenders. Man, the Lobos are coming out. Inman with a great physical hit. And they're playing smart hockey. It is physical, but they are playing smart hockey. Putting them up against the boards and getting that. Those passes have been a lot cleaner. Oh, good. Or Digger's going to handle slips. the puck and he slipped. Oh, man. Ordigers now with the puck at center ice. Bad pass, his teammate didn't know where the puck went. And Hop will hunt it down for the Lobos. He'll play it behind his net. Stolen away by the Ordigers. They send it behind the net and it gets cleared to the right wing. Ordigers pick it up. Still fighting for puck possession. Garrett Inman now with the puck. He'll send it over to Chan Shanks. Fighting for the puck now. Shanks clears it out to center ice, taken over by the Ordigers. That's Isaac Dunwoody that was trying to hold on to it. Couldn't quite retain possession. Lobos come up with it, though. Inman with the puck. They'll send it over to Mackenzie Smith. Smith. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Christopher Owens over to Inman. Inman now to Dunwoody. Dunwoody, Dunwoody with a good clear there. Colorado's going to pick it up. Looks like a bit of a line change for New Mexico early on. You've got number 27. That's Mackenzie Smith back out Here on the ice. The ore diggers, but the Lobos were waiting for it, not allowing it in their zone. 
Or diggers recover at center ice. Lobo steal the way, but stolen away again by Colorado. Here come the mines. Oh, great defense by New Mexico. Oh, stick gets slapped away. There'll be no call for tripping. Chan Shanks now with the puck. Shanks looking for an opportunity with a little two-on-one. Mishandles the puck and gets put on the ice. Some big hits up against the boards. Colorado's coach calling for penalties. And here come the ore diggers at center ice. They'll take the puck inside the Lobo zone. They try to center it, and good defense by New Mexico keeps that puck away. Lobo's doing a great job clearing it out. Man, Adam, we are just hearing the boards collide tonight. It was what you want here in this hockey game. Uh, that's what you expect out of Lobo hockey. As Lobo's try to get out of their own zone oh. here, and they hit the boards. AJ Goff taking a hit up against the boards, still fighting for the puck. Bit of a scrum back with Owens the left and wing. Goff fighting for it, as well as number 11, Linus Stroik for Line of strike for the uh, or, or diggers, but the Lobos come away with it. Here good comes Jack Kelly. If uh, Jack Kelly could contain that, he could have had a shot. He's going to take around back though, and he stays up. Way to keep his skates underneath him. Can't quite hold on to the puck. Colorado trying to clear. Good job by Nate Tagliagami keeping it. He might get an opportunity here if he can hold on to the puck. Back behind the net, put up against the boards. Here come the Lobos, looking for the opportunity. That's number 68, Michael Caliber. Tagli got me back behind the net over to Chison. Bam Chison sends it up top. Lobo's just playing smart hockey, looking for that opportunity to get that slap shot or those recovery shots. Takes a shot off a pass. Tagli got it! Him, there's no off the post! So close. Oh. And the puck's frozen. What an opportunity. That Great sound could be your best friend or your worst enemy. And in this case, it was right off the, the post. Nate Tagli got me, picked it up out of the air, dropped it, took a shot, hit right off the post. And we see, you guys, we see you guys, let's give some shout outs here. We see some Colorado fans. Yeah, Madison, yeah, right, we see you guys. But how about the Lobo fans? Melinda, Melinda Comptine on there. We've got Divas, Perfect Posse. We've got uh, Rich Brody. We've got a lot of you guys just comment, uh, commenting. Uh, so we appreciate you guys. There's a lot more of you guys tuning in tonight. Uh, really appreciate it. Let's, let's hear it for them Lobos. Face off one by New Mexico. Shot taken and a pass save by Palmer. Or diggers now with the puck. They'll have it at center ice. Still taking it inside the level zone. Good deep by New Mexico. Here comes Chison. Grant Chison looking for an opportunity. He's going to send it over to the right. That's Caliber. Caliber with the puck back up top. Going to send it to the right. Up against the boards. And I thought they were coming through our face All right, there. No, I kind of uh, uh, got the shivers there. If you guys don't know, uh, Josh and I are located between the two penalty boxes. So we get up close and personal with a couple of those boards. That's number 90. Ben Hobb trying to recover for the Lobo. Sends it to center ice. Lobo's looking for an opportunity, but slapped away. They're going to have to get back off sides. Here comes the ore diggers now. They'll dump it inside the Lobo zone. Here comes Christopher Owens now with the puck. Send over to Shanks. Shanks gets hit hard. Ore diggers take a shot, but it goes wide left on the net. Rebounded by Isaac Dunwoody. Dunwoody will clear it out. And Lobo's looking for an opportunity. They're not quite able to hold on to it. Push up against the left wing boards and back behind the net. Trying to chase it down. Colorado holds on and they're going to bring it up. Here comes the ore diggers. They try to send it forward. Good defense there. As Owens will hunt it down. Line change McK for Colorado. Here comes Mackenzie Smith now with the puck. They'll try to clear it out. And the ore diggers fighting back and forth for puck possession here at center ice. A big hit by the Lobos. And here comes Colorado. They'll take a shot. Easy pass save. save by James Boston. Ore diggers fighting for the rebound. Ron Keel playing great defense, gets that puck cleared out. And the ore diggers will have to reset. Lobos get a line change. 12 minutes remaining in period number one. Your Lobos are up one to nothing. Here comes School of the Mines. They'll take a shot and it goes way above the goalie's head out of play. So we'll, so we'll have a face off with 11.57 left to go in the first period. Oh man, don't forget to like us on Facebook, ladies and gentlemen, at the Lobo Hockey Network. Stay up to date with all the Lobo action. www.facebook.com forward slash the Lobo Hockey Network. We'll have a face off here in the Lobo ah, territory. Sorry, I got my words mixed up. Lobos hold on. Hop has the puck for UNM. He sends it over to Garrett Inman. Inman over to Kelly. Kelly sends the puck cleared out and the ore digger steal it. They'll dump it right back in. Hop now has the puck. Sends it up to number 14, Jeremiah. Ch 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 Chaggy? We're gonna, sorry Chaggy. For, but Chaggy. We're just going to call him Jeremiah. We're going to call that? him Jeremiah. We'll <laughs> stick with that for now. That's a tough last name. 
Lobo's trying to hold on to it, but it is going to get away to Colorado as they move it up center yeah. ice. Light him up. Here comes the ore diggers now, but the Jack Kelly does a great job stealing the puck away. Ore diggers recover, but they'll set up at center ice. They dump it into the Lobo zone. Garrett Amon will play it for New Mexico. Sends it over to AJ Goff. Goff hit hard up against the boards. And the puck gets sent behind the net and looks like Hop will hunt it down for New Mexico. Good poke pass there by Hop up to uh, center ice. Lobos try to hold on. Big Graham Trison trying to hold on to the puck. He's going to send it back to Hop. Hop over to the left. Lobos trying to fight away with it. Goes up to Tagliagami. Tagliagami cl just clears it behind Colorado's net over to Graham Chison. Chison trying to hold on. He's, he's a big guy but can't quite get that. Tagliagami almost with an opportunity there. Good steal. Lobos hold on. Graham might get a shot shooting opportunity. He does, but it's smacked away by Colorado. Oh man, Tagliagami just got hit in the helmet. Oh, it's getting physical. Here's a shooting opportunity right into the belly and back behind the net. Still fighting for that puck behind the net. Here come the ore diggers. Good so, defense by New Mexico. And good, good offense. Wow, they're playing really aggressive, which is what you need to do to get by this Colorado team. You've got to get those shots on goal. Shot taken out of play with 10-16 left to go in the first period. you got a big set out there. You have Graham Tyson, Christopher Owens. Uh, you got some big bodies out there, which is making a big difference for the Lobos. Looks like they're going with a bit more of a speed set now. You're bringing in number 17, Jared Bronchio, who uh, I said was one of the keys to tonight's game. Fantastic, sick work player, and he's going to take this face off. He's going to send it between the legs of a Colorado Colorado player who's put up against the boards, but they're able to clear. Graham Chison there waiting for it, sends it up top, and almost an offsides, but they get away with it. Rock and they Keel, send it man. into the belly of the goalie. Palmer with a good save for the Colorado School of Mines. Ten minutes and two seconds to go. Let's hear you Lobos fans. I want to see you in those comments. Let's get loud and proud for your New Mexico Lobos. Ronquillo with the face off for New Mexico. Fighting for puck possession. Ronquillo with the puck, sends it back behind the net. Good pass. Left wing boards fighting for the puck. And that's sent high and cleared. And it'll be an icing call against the ore digger, so we'll have a face off in the ore digger zone. Don't forget to join us for our next home games. They'll be in two weeks as the Lobos take on Colorado Mesa. And the Mavericks look to come into Albuquerque to invade the outpost. So join us September 28th and 29th right here on the Lobo Hockey Network as the Lobos take on the Mavericks. Lobos win the faceoff, but a little bit too much. That's number 90, Ben Hobb trying to chase it down. Can't quite get there, but a good pad save by James Boston. Boston trying to clear it out. Dangerous play there. Boston doing a great job of saving that, Adam. And that's one of the guys we need to look for in tonight's game, James Boston. But here come the Lobos. That's Ronquillo with a lot of speed, looking for the opportunity. Moving to the right, can't quite hold on to it. Put up against the boards, but stays on his skates. Holds on to the puck. Looking for the shooting opportunity, pushed around. Sends it towards the net, but it's back behind. Colorado will be able to recover that one. I love those speed plays. Great, great play there by Jared, uh, Jared Ronquillo. Garrett Inman out there, the enforcer. Colorado with the puck, moves back behind their own net. Opposite direction, still trying to clear. Very aggressive offense being played by New Mexico. And we're gonna have a penalty against New Mexico. High sticking call, and let's see who's going to the box. It looks like, uh, ooh, we don't. Nice. AJ Goff going to the box for New Mexico. Two minutes for high sticking. So the first power play tonight for the ore diggers. Uh, and I didn't think we'd see it this far. We have eight minutes, 52 seconds remaining in period number one before we saw our first penalty of the night. And with how physical this game started out, that's a bit shocking, Josh. Yeah, it's definitely one thing that hurt the Lobos last night was the penalties. But let's see if they can make that up tonight. They'll take, take on their first penalty kill here. And the faceoff will be inside the Lobo zone. Face off, one by New Mexico. Good job of clearing it out, and the ore diggers will have to grab it to reset. You're gonna see that zone defense come into play quite a bit from New Mexico in these situations. They did a pretty good job last night with it. See if they can have a repeat performance tonight. Ore diggers now with the puck at center ice. They'll take it into the Lobo zone. Still fighting for it on the left wing. They'll send it on top of the blue line. Ore diggers now have it. Tagli Gami might have a breakaway here. He's got a one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to take this shot that oh. goes wide. He did score shorthanded on one of those last night. Another great opportunity for the Woo. Lobos. 
trying to get a play put together. Colorado sitting behind their own net, trying to set something up. Going to send it out to center ice here. Stolen away by the Lobos, and they're, they're really doing a good job killing this power play so far. Only a minute 12 remaining. Or diggers looking to set something up now. They'll send it over to center ice. Good job by Shanks to play a little defense. Or diggers have it on the right wing. They'll try to center it, and their player goes behind the net. Or diggers now have it on top of the blue line, sends it over the left wing. Right back up top to the blue line. They're just going back and forth, looking to see who's open. Back and forth now. Or diggers take a shot, and it's behind the net. Rebounded by Mackenzie Smith. Does a great job of clearing it out, and the Ore diggers will have to reset. Only 40 seconds remaining in this power play. Great job so far by the Lobos being able to clear and 30 seconds away from killing this power play. Ore diggers come rushing towards center ice. Here comes the Ore diggers now. They'll dump it inside Lobos. Oh, Chad Shanks with a big hit. Still fighting for that puck behind the Lobo net. Who's going to come away with it? Ore diggers now have possession of the puck, top of the blue line. Try to take a shot, good defense by Chan Shanks. And we're gonna have back and forth, pushing and shoving here. Or diggers now set of the puck, shot taken, and no goal, no, there, no goal. It is waved off, no goal. Man, what a great save by Boston. And, we've got some and we got a little scuffle there going in front of the net. Referee's getting in between them, separating them. 6.48 left to go here in the first period. We told you, Adam, we told the crowd it's going to get physical and chippy tonight as the puck was loose right in front of the net. And, and they were James diving, Boschett scrambling. did not like that when players fall on top of him. Hey, his team doesn't like it either. They're going to protect their goalie because their goalie plays heart and soul for them. He takes a lot of shots. They're going to get this broken up. I'd be kind of surprised if you don't see some penalties come of this. I saw a few, uh, few fists thrown there. Yeah, we're definitely going to have some penalties coming your way. Let us clarify with the referees on what's going on. Oh, no, no, no penalties, just buy a more warning. And I, I like that, I like that, Josh, seeing the, them let them play it out. Face off one by New Mexico and it gets cleared out. Lobos back at full strain. And we see you guys in the comments supporting your Lobos and even some of you supporting Colorado. Appreciate the participation. Ordinger's now with the puck. They'll take it up to center ice, they'll push it into the Lobo zone. On the left wing now, they'll try to center it. Shot taken, it's a goal! Top shell for the Ore Diggers. Man, that was a good play by Colorado with 6.25 left to go in the first period. We're all knotted at one. Man, the Colorado School of the Mines attacked the left wing, centered it, and they went top shelf. We're gonna get a clarification on who, who scored that goal for you. That's 14, Mitchell Cox. Mitchell Cox with the goal for the ore diggers. Man, if you were uh, looking over at the Lobos bench, Grant Harvey did not like that. He was calling for uh, calling for some defensive scheme that he obviously did not get there. So we're all knotted up. One to one, 625 remaining in period one. And here comes the faceoff at center ice, won by New Mexico. Owen sends it over to Mackenzie Smith. Lobos at full strength, gonna try to rebound. And Nate Tagliagami with the puck, looking to make some magic happen, sends it back behind the net. I believe that's Graham Chison trying to recover it. Now it's number 68, Michael Caliber sends it over to the left. Mackenzie Smith with the shot. Pad save. Great slap shot there. Graham Chison looking to play some defense, see if they can keep it in the Colorado zone. Cannot as it is cleared, but it's right to Mackenzie Smith. Mackenzie looking to send it back up top. Over to Graham Chison. Chison looking for opportunity. Sends it over. We might have a shooting opportunity here for Tagliagami. Centers it and it does go just high. Almost a nice one-timer there. And the net gets sent off, uh, so we'll have a play stoppage here, and 5.40 left to go in the first period. We're all knotted at one. Don't forget to join us for our intermission report, and we'll break down and see if we can get you an interview by one of the players as well. Face off, we'll be taken inside the ore digger zone. They're checking that net, make sure it's sturdy. Tagligami with the face off. Sent over to the left wing. Lobos holding on to a bit of a scrum forward on the left wing, sends it up top to number 24. Pushed up against the boards, sends it back into the wing. Behind the net, looking for a shooting opportunity, back into 
Back into the boards, sent back and frozen by the goalie. That's Jake Palmer falling on top of it. 5.21 left to go in the first period. <laughs> and this Lobo crowd getting loud and proud, supporting the team. It's going to be number 17 with the faceoff, Jared Ronchio. He's able to come away with it, and it's a shot that goes off the pad. Players falling in front of the net. That puck is frozen. Players falling right on top of Jake Palmer. And that was actually closer than it seems. That puck slipped out to the left. Nobody really had control. You know it's a physical game when the ref is even wiping away sweat, Adam. <laughs> Ron Keel with the faceoff sends it into the left wing boards. Lobos come up with it. Stolen away by Colorado. Here come the Ordiggers now. They'll have an opportunity one on one. Shot taken to glove, saved by Jace Boston. Good job, he'll clear it away. Here comes Chad Shakes now. He'll have his opportunity. Shakes has a, a breakaway. He's going to look for that shooting opportunity. Oh, oh. sends it across to Ronkio. Ronkio can't handle it. It's going to go back to the right wing boards. Tried to do a little too much there, and Colorado gets away, uh, gets the puck. Stolen away by the Lobos. Oh, and here's an opportunity. There's Chad Shanks with it. Oh, good defense by the ore diggers. Keeps a breakaway from happening. He couldn't quite run it down. You've got an ore digger laying on top of the puck and another man falling on top of him. Grant Har Coach Grant Harvey letting the refs hear it early. So let's take an apology to our fans right now. If we, we are very, we are in between both penalty boxes and very close to Coach. So if a word slips in, we do apologize. Coach can throw a little uh, yeah, unnecessary word. If something slips in, it was probably Josh. Oh. <laughs> That's number uh, 95, Chan Shanks waving off a player for Colorado. No love lost between these two teams. Face off Colorado run by fighting. the Ore Diggers. But the Lobo's doing a good job cleaning, keeping in that zone, Adam. Down Chison with the puck. Sends it up top. Almost able to sneak it in there. But That's Palmer does a good job. Covering it up for the ore diggers. Michael Calvert trying to get it one in there. Calvert, we're saying his name a lot today. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's definitely made his presence felt. Four minutes, 20 seconds remaining in period number one. We're knotted up at outpost, one to one. Lobo's fighting for the puck. Sent around to the left wing boards. Sent to the right, this could be a good shooting opportunity. Smacked away in good defense there by Colorado. He's definitely going to feel that one in the morning. Stolen away by the Lobos and gets his uh, stick slapped back behind the net. That's Mackenzie Smith with the puck once again, trying to fight it away. Two Colorado players in his face. Big hit there up against the boards. Or diggers cleared out, and we're going to have a penalty, it looks like. But who's it going to be on? High, another high sticking call. With the way the goal is coming it's out, going it's going to go against New Mexico. It's going against New Mexico, so that's Mackenzie Smith. Getting two minutes for high sticking. So another power play opportunity for the ore diggers with 3.52 left to go in the first period. Grant yeah, Harvey letting the ref hear it there. And like we said before we started this game, it was definitely a one-sided affair when it came to who was seeing the box last night. And uh, you gotta understand some of Coach Harvey's frustration. I would be frustrated too. <laughs> As a coach, it's one of the most frustrating things when calls do not go your way. And the Lobos win the faceoff, but the Ore Diggers quick steal it away. They'll look to set something up now. They'll have it on top of the blue line. Ore Diggers still have the puck. Oh, a stick went flying in the air. And it was an Ore Digger stick. That's just showing you the physicalness here in this game. Shot taken. It goes wide in the net. Rebounded by the Ore Diggers. They're trying to put it right back in. James Boschen dies for it but it's rebounded by the Colorado. So a minute 30 left in the power play as Colorado tries to set up a play. Ore diggers take a shot, goes wide behind the net, and looking to set something up, and the Ore diggers get the rebound. They'll have now top of the blue line. Another shot taken, and it goes wide of the net. Rebounded once again, shot taken wide, and rebound on top of the blue line by the Ore diggers. They'll try to center it. Pad saved by James Boston. Good defense by Boston to keep that puck away. Chad Shanks repeatedly sacrificing his own well-being to block that puck. Here comes the Ore Diggers now. They'll try to center it. They have it on the right wing. Shot taken off the Lobo skate. Another shot taken off the post. And good job by New Mexico to keep that away. 
Another shot taken, stick saved by Boston. Lobos still trying to get that puck cleared out. They have about 40 seconds left in this penalty kill. And they're able to clear it. Great play there, but they need to get back into their zones quick as Colorado's advancing. 30 seconds remaining in the power play. Shooting opportunity here for Colorado. Here comes the ore diggers now on the left wing, looking to set something up. They'll have it now, bottom left wing. Centers it, top of the blue line. Shot taken, Pat saved by one of the Lobos, and the Lobos gonna do a good job clearing it out. And so, with only 14 seconds away, they should have successfully clear, or, or, uh, killed this power play. Good defense there by the Lobos, playing that four-man zone defense. And with five seconds, it looks like the Lobos are gonna kill this one nicely. And the Lobos are now back at full strength. Mackenzie Smith comes flying out onto the ice, looking to get some revenge. Here comes the ore diggers now. They'll have the puck, good defense. And here comes New Mexico. Mackenzie Smith now, three on two, and then good defense by the ore diggers. And with the wraparound shot that gets frozen by Palmer, Lobos mounting some, uh, a bit of an offensive tap for themselves there. The ore diggers got five shots on goal on that power play, but James Boston doing a nice job of keeping that puck away. Man, that one that hit the post was close. Well, not only that, but I gotta give some credit to Chance Shakes, really sacrificing his body. He took some shots there himself to protect it. Tagliagami trying to uh, take this face off, sends it into the boards. It's number 68, Michael Caliber, again, going off the puck. Here comes oh. an opportunity now, the ore diggers have it. He'll try to take on the Lobos all by himself. Good defense by New Mexico, and New Mexico clears it out. Ore diggers now have it at center ice, looking to set something up. Bad pass, Nate Tagliagami now has it. He couldn't handle the puck, and it's stolen away by the Ore diggers. Big hit by Nate Tagliagami. One minute to go. Still fighting for that puck behind the net. Nate Tagliagami comes away with it. He'll try to send it forward. It was deflected away by an Ore digger skate. And Mackenzie Smith will now play it for New Mexico. Still fighting for the puck now. Ore Diggers have an center ice. They dump it into the Lobo zone. No tripping call against Colorado. And we're gonna have a play stoppage here. Words exchanged, and then we have a fight breaking out over here. Some pushing and shoving going back and forth. Michael Caliber didn't like the way he was being hit. So we're gonna have an Ore Digger and a Lobo Go into the box. They're, wait, they're getting Michael Caliber and Mitchell Cox, both of them. But we'll get you the penalties here in just a second. Cox going two minutes for elbowing. And it looks like Michael Caliber getting two minutes for roughing. No, number 14. Sorry, I get some clarification for you folks. So Mitchell Cox, two minutes for elbowing. I mean, what do we tell you? It's gonna be physical here tonight. 30 seconds remaining in the first period, knotted up at one, and these teams are already throwing blows. And Michael Caliber going to the box as well, two minutes for roughing. So both players will spend the rest of the period in the box. Don't forget to join us as Andrew Tadine gets set up to get an interview. Shot taken by the Ore Diggers and deflected away by Boston. Great opportunity, great pass, almost sent to Mackenzie Smith, just a little in front of him. Good pass attempt there, Mackenzie Smith trying to hold on to the puck. It's being stolen away by Colorado as he puts a man up against the boards. And the puck gets cleared out. Here come the Ore Diggers, they're gonna have an off away opportunity. Shot taken, pass in by Boston, and he covers it up. Great defense by James Boston. Man, a great breakaway opportunity for the Ore Diggers. So we, Garen Inman going to the box for New Mexico. Interference call, so the Ore Diggers will now have the power play. All right, Josh, I'm going to let you take it for the remainder of the period. We've oh. got the other mic being moved over. Thank you, Adam.
We're going to have an interview for you by the Ore Diggers. Andrew Tanin going to get one of the Ore Diggers, and then next period we'll get a Lobo for you. Still getting some clarification what's going on. It should be a four-on-three opportunity here. Yeah, it's going to be four-on-three for the next one second. And that's going to be in the period. And at the end. All right. This is Andrew Tarrant. I'm here with Linus um, from the Ore Diggers. How's it doing tonight? Doing all right. How are you? Good. Um, so you guys were able to bounce back like you did last night. You guys were down one early, and then you guys came back. Um, what do you have to say about the resilience of your forwards? Yeah, we got to put in the hard work. That's what we're, we've been doing at the end of the first period here. We got to continue doing that, uh, really taking the space, driving wide, uh, making sure we make crisp passes and are, are smart about our work in the offensive zone. Okay, and uh, over two on the power play. You guys are going to have a, quite a bit of power play time left when you come back on the second. Give me his number. He's not answering. Doesn't he charge these things? two on the power play. What did you tell them in the locker room about this uh, starting power play you guys come out in the second period? We got to move a little bit quicker, get a little bit more shots, and uh, be quicker. Way too many block shots out there on the power play. Okay. Uh, building on the momentum from last night, you guys were able to bounce back. You were down several times last night, but you guys bounced back and answered. What are you hoping to do whenever you guys even the score this time? Well, we need to build on it. We can't have these turnovers in the D zone. and just got to keep playing in their zone, get more shots, and crash hard. We'll build on and get some goals. All right, who's your next opponent? We have uh, Colorado State in two weeks. Uh, at home or uh, away? At home, Thursday night, yeah. You guys have a tough building to play in over there. Uh, you looking excited to play uh, in front of the home crowd? Yeah, it's always good playing in front of the home crowd, so it'll be the first home game against a uh, good D2 team, so it should be fun. All right, well, thank you very much, Coach. Uh, good luck to you and your boys. All right, thanks, man. Hey, can you run this up and get me a new one? Okay. It died. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 20 minutes on the clock, one-to-one -one tie. Outpost Arena has never been hotter as the teams take their ice for some Lobo hockey. Well, I'm excited, Adam. You know, that was a great first period. Physical, both teams getting some penalties that hurt them in ways. Let's see how the Lobos respond, being the man down right to start the period. But we want to thank you guys for tuning in. Hey. Do us a big favor out there. See that little red button that says subscribe. Make sure you hit that big red button. That way you can follow Lobo Hockey all season long. Don't forget in two weeks, ladies and gentlemen, that's right, two weeks from today, uh, we're gonna have the Colorado Mesa Mavericks over here and they'll look to invade Albuquerque, but the Lobos right now need to focus on taking care of the Lions here in the second period. Don't forget also on the 28th and 29th, we will have Darko Print Shop over here and they will be printing t-shirts and other merchandise. I cannot say what they'll be printing yet because it's going to make a surprise. So if you're going to, if you want to see 
what we're going to have cooked up, make sure you head to Facebook and follow us on the Global Hockey Network and you guys will stay up to date on all the live merchandise. Now getting into second period hockey, my key to a Lobo win tonight is going to be staying out of the box. They can't sustain those power plays. I know they win 0 for 2 on those power plays, but how many shots can Boston save? How many shots can they deflect? They need to play that smart hockey and stay out of the box. They can enforce while playing for that clean that hockey that they were able to in the first period. So continue with that, we're knotted up, and continue with that throughout the remainder of the game, and you should see a Lobo win tonight. The Lobos will have, or uh, will be a man down once the clock hits, the minute 27 seconds is up, and then they'll have, a, uh, the ore diggers will get a power play with about 30 seconds left to go on the clock. We're headed out to center ice. Lobos will be going from your right to left. Lobos in the turquoise blue and the ore diggers in the gray and blue. You know it's been a, a Lobo hockey game when uh, both boxes are crowded to start the period. And here we go, face off underway, take in and then won by the ore diggers. Ore diggers now have it, they'll send into Lobo zone. Lobo's trying to play some good defense here. Keeping an eye again that zone defense while they're shorthanded. Colorado shoots. Goes wide right. Able to recover after the shot though. Good defense by the Lobos. Lobos able to clear. Good job by New Mexico to clear the puck. And Palmer comes out to play. Here comes that student section coming alive. And here comes the Colorado School of Mines. School of Mines looking for a shooting opportunity. They're going to take it around the back of the net. Lobos there waiting for him. Sends it up top to number seven. Colorado back over to the left wing. Looking for the shot. Nothing there with that, that Lobo zone. They send it around the back right hand side with a low shot. Back up top to number 10 for the Ore Diggers. Down to number 20. Number 20 for Colorado. Sends it back up to 10. 10's going to take the slap shot that goes off a pad save, then a glove save for Boshin. Boshin making it look like an everyday at the park kind of thing, you know? Well, it's, I mean, he's right at home in that net. 18.53 left to go. Thank you, sir. In the, the first period, and we're all tied. Our second period, we're all knotted at one. Off one by New Mexico. They do a good job of clearing it out with about 10 seconds left to go in the first penalty. That's <laughs> on the comments. Max Smith asking for Julian Chavez. He is not here tonight. Uh, a few years too late for Miss Chavez, the speedster. As the Lobos in the turquoise jerseys trying to clear out of their own zone. Or diggers have the, the power play for about 30, 25 seconds here. We've seen Caliber back out there on the ice, gets in the man's face, and a save by James Boshin. Yet another. 18-21, left to go. Second period, all knotted at one. Okay. Sorry there, lost, lost you there for a second. We're back, we're, 